Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked which expression is equivalent to 6x to the 8th y squared plus 12x squared y squared. What we're going to do is notice that these terms do not have the same variables attached to them. What that means is that they're not like terms and we can't just add them together. So to see which expression is equivalent, we're just going to multiply these out and see which one matches up. So if we look here, a and b, we're going to multiply this term by this term, right? Or this term by this term. And what that's going to produce is just one term. We notice here we have two terms, so we know it can't be a or b. For c and d, we're multiplying this by two separate terms that are being added together. So we are going to end up with two terms, as we'll see when we multiply them out. So we can actually test these to see which one is equivalent. So for c, we have 6x squared y squared times x to the 6th plus 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this by this, and then this by that. So we have 6x squared y squared times x to the 6th. What is that going to look like? Well, the only um, number, the only constant here is 6, so that goes up front. We have x squared times x to the 6th. When you're multiplying two variables together, you add their exponents. So x to the 2 plus 6 is x to the 8th times y squared at the end. This is plus 6 times 2 is 12. And then x squared is the only x term. y squared is the only y term. So they just go on at the end. This leaves us with 6x to the 8th y squared plus 12x squared y squared. You notice that this is equivalent to our given expression which means C is our final answer. We don't even have to check D.